Uh, congratulations to both of you. This is uh, an outstanding uh, film. And I just want to know from the perspective of two men that have worked with Christopher Nolan, how the hell he keeps stepping it up. Got a lot of good ideas. And I think he, uh, you want to know why I think he keeps stepping it up is because he genuinely loves what he does. He's not doing it to make a bunch of money or to prove anything to anybody. And as popular as his movies are, he really just loves movies and makes them, I think, mostly for himself and his own joy. Yeah. And uh, that's why it comes off so well. Gary, how about you, you know, to, to work with a, a yeah. man like that? I just think he's talented. I think it's as simple as that. He's just, he's just got, you know, and he knows what, he knows, he has a great sense of sort of story arc and where the movie needs to um, it deliver. He has a great, he's got his a great sense of what, what, this is, this is what the audience needs here. Um, this is what they need to feel here. And this will take us here, yeah. and then it has its conclusion. You know, he's got he's, he seems to have a sort of wonderful sense of of that. And mm. there are people there there are people that do, you know. It's and it's, but it's a, it's ones and zeros. I don't know. It's just a mysterious, mysterious thing. But you don't. We were talking about this earlier. But you don't see him making an epic movie like no. this you just you don't you don't see him doing it he just very calm very comes in right in his he, uniform he does it with ease yeah with and his, his black, tea with his, with his black with his wesker and his mm -hmm. yeah and his <laughs> tea vest, as we say. yeah his vest and his t and his t and his tea yeah yeah it's all gray um joseph for you to be on a set like this and to work with Come on, this legend and everybody Absolutely. else. What was it? <laughs> no, yourself. Seriously, no, what, is it a pinch myself moment? Absolutely, you? it is. And uh, I mean, specifically with Gary, a lot of my favorite actors are the ones who are chameleons. You know, the ones who disappear into their characters, and you can't see the actor; you see the character. And this is a quintessential chameleon right here. You you wouldn't recognize him if you watched if you watched True Romance, say and showed that to you know someone who's a fan of, of The Dark Knight and Commissioner Gordon, you wouldn't think that was the same person. That to me is really the highest compliment you can pay to an actor. And uh, yeah, so I would just come to work and, and absorb and yeah, you know, stop be. Stop <laughs> he's flashing. Yeah. Oh, but Gary, for you to be able to, you know, what'd you think of this guy? Cause he's pretty darn talented oh, no, too. Don't do that, come no, on. No, no, I'm now. not, but I'm no, not no, doing no. it to be kiss ass no. here. I mean, but seriously. I came, up, I came up to you one day on the set and I said, it is so honest. I said, you can't put a pin through an insincere moment. Do I you remember, remember when you said, of course I remember. We were nodding him. We were, mm -hmm. yeah. Is it refreshing to not talk about a film, to be able to be so secretive? Because I have to tell you, it was just as a fan and an audience member, I was so happy that I didn't know a darn thing about what was going to go happen, happen in this movie. It must be refreshing. Yeah, you know, when there's a movie coming out that I really, really want to see, I make sure to avoid any trailers or anything that anyone writes about it or anything, because I just want to see the movie from the beginning of the movie. Um, I mean, I'm a Terrence Malick fan, mm -hmm. and I was... I didn't know a thing about the Tree of Life, mm. and then I saw the movie, and I still don't know a thing. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that was naughty of me. I'm sorry. You should have read I, some articles about it. Or I something. should have read some articles. <laughs> um, <laughs> I love uh, the Tree of Life. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't resist it. Yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh, love but it. You know that what we a... do, but there's so much. It, there's like, one is, there's so many movie magazines, yeah. there's so much TV <laughs> coverage. Yeah. It's, it's, you've got to, I mean, you would have to live under a rock, wouldn't you, to not hear about some of this stuff. Mm. And so it's great when, when you, there is, uh, you don't know, I was c c constantly asked, mm -hmm. what is, what is the Dark Knight Rises? You know, what, what can you give us anything? And I just said, I've got a feeling it's going to be great, and that's about, <laughs> and that's all I could say, really. You know, and you were right, and it really you know, is. Um, <laughs> yeah, um, Joe, I want to ask you: um, the first time you saw Christian Bale come out in the bat suit? Oh uh, yeah, well, 
This is one thing I really love about how Chris makes movies is the spectacle oftentimes is real. That was the case on Inception too. It's not all just a bunch of green screen and computer effects that happen later and you as the actor have to sort of pretend that you're seeing something magnificent. Um, he likes to make it happen for real and then just shoot it. And uh, yeah, when Christian puts on that suit, it's really there. There's no added digital anything. That just looks like a movie when he's got it on. And, he uh, changes in the suit, doesn't he? Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. He, he, yeah, there's some, something that's quite uh, forbidding about him when he's, when he's on the set with you. Well, he looks, the, he looks like a legend. He doesn't look like a person anymore. He looks like... Yeah. The Batman. He looks like the Batman, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And, okay, you know, Anne Hathaway in her suit? Couldn't have been uh. too tough to do the scenes <laughs> opposite her in that. Uh -huh. She was fantastic, too. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah. And There's her a revelation in it, I think. Absolutely, yeah. I think she is just... Just... just not, I've never seen her like this, you know? Yeah. And so strong. I love how strong she is. And that that can be sexy, too. We're so used to... If a girl is going to be sexy, in, especially in a movie, she has to look like weak and submissive or, you know, like her feet are bound or whatever. And um, Annie in this movie has taken this character and showed how a really strong woman is is so sexy. Yeah. Are you a fan of Batman as a kid? Absolutely. Everyone, I don't think you could ask anybody my age if they were a fan of Batman as a kid and get a no. Everyone, everyone is a fan of Batman. Yeah. You had the lunchbox, I think you told me once. Yeah, and, and my mom sewed me the. My mom sewed me a Batman costume, like a homemade Batman costume. I remember. I made my own. <laughs> As you should. You know, my well, mother were, had her. Don't buy any of that watch, stuff at the stores, kids. I used to watch Adam West, yeah. and uh, my mother had this wide, wide, sort of '60s belt, and I stuck cigarette packets to it, and then, <laughs> and then painted it yellow. Yeah. As a as a as, as a, a utility belt, and I was I was 27 at the time. <laughs> 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 but uh, yeah, and you know the cape, and the, we had an old shed out the uh, out 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 in the yard, and I did the bat sign on it with the hey. yeah, not it's no Superman, yeah. no. Superman. It's the Batman. Again, guys, fantastic job. Thank you so much for this movie. It really is spectacular. Yeah, and, uh, lovely talking to you both. Thank you yeah. so much. Thanks. Have a great day.